And in companies reporting strong quarterly results so far, get this, 78 percent, 78 percent have beat earnings estimates, but market moves muted. Yesterday, Google parent Alphabet said its net income jumped more than 70 percent. Revenue rose about 25 percent, but shares of the company were actually down after in after hours trading. Joining me now, financial analyst Armando Soto. He's managing partner at Zilfinium. Great to see you, Armando. Thanks for coming in. So let's drill down into to this. Uh, what we're seeing is that the proportion of companies beating estimates are the highest in seven years since the first quarter of 2011. Where's the rally? You know, we have a lot of uh, uncertainty hanging over our heads uh, in these days. We have a, a trade war that, uh, that has been going on as of recent. Uh, so a lot of asset managers and smart money ac across the globe are really looking for a solution to, to a lot of the issues that are, that are out there today. We have the Iran deal. Uh, that might come back on the table. Uh, North Korea is finally coming into the table, which is great, and we saw gold actually go down as a result of that. Uh, so there are a lot of things that are that are going on well, today. A lot of headlines, obviously international headlines, but when you look at share price improvement on earnings gains, it's actually going down a tenth of a percent right now. It's typically no, now more like 1.1%. Are earnings just old hat? Are we looking past what we knew to be a good earnings season because of the tax cuts, say, and saying, you know what, that doesn't matter anymore? That, that's part of what's going on, and uh, we're going late into a, an economic growth cycle. Uh, we have the Federal Reserve that continues to raise rates, and that is also part of why the market doesn't know which way to go. I mean, we have a lot of great earnings. This administration is very pro-business, but the yes. administration can only do so much. It really comes down at this point to what the financial wizards at the Federal Reserve are doing for us. Let's talk uh, about some of the stocks reporting today. A lot of big companies, uh, uh, Dow Components, 3M is in, Caterpillar, Coke, uh, Verizon. And the only expectation for lower earnings coming from travelers. So we're, we should see some real momentum in the marketplace here. Will you, any of these stocks get rewarded in your view? I believe we're going to see Caterpillar uh, most likely beating and, and going up as well because uh, they're pretty big in the emerging markets and they essentially help emerging markets uh, become uh, bigger economies and there's a lot of buying in, uh, in that particular sector. So depending on how that sector does, we're going to get a lot of visibility into what we should expect coming into the future in regards to global growth. That will be interesting, absolutely. We'll be watching for that in the Caterpillar reports. Armando, thank you. Thank you.